What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a very interesting video for you. It's gonna be wild. We're gonna take a detour. We're gonna be hitting some thrift stores. My name is Tyler Stubbs, also known as Garage to Profit, One Man's Trash, where I take people's trash and turn it into profit by going to garage sales and thrift stores. Let's go ahead and jump into this video right now. Woo! Bro, check the sign, bro. Check the sign, dude. Look at that. Check it, check it. Wow. Wow. Heck yeah, dude. This is what I'm talking about. Vintage sell. Hitting this vintage sell because I have not been able to hit a garage sale thrift store because if you know, up north, you cannot hit any of these thrift stores because it's a, it's a seasonal activity. Vintage sell. I'm down. You down. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we missed, we missed the turn, so we have to go back. But as you can see, we're like out in the boonies right now. It's getting a little sketchy here because um, we're on the dirt road. We literally just drove like five minutes, and it like we're like in the middle of nowhere now. What was that show called where um, they would like the American Pickers? Remember that show? The, that's the kind of the vibe I'm feeling right now is the American Picker vibe. <laughs> All right, I think it's right here. You're, you're actually in an American Picker video. Um, so this is a, uh, an official episode of the American Pickers. Um, I'm gonna be your host today. Um, we're gonna check out this barn and see what we can find. This is the vintage though. Here. This is cool. Saw your sign over there. Yeah. All right, dude. Barn, bro. That's where all the magic is. It's What do you think if I end up uh, placing a bid on that tractor right there? Think I could flip it? <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, but found these uh, license plates. One thing to note is that when you get like these old vintage license plates, it's something to look out for. Uh, people will pay some like pretty, collect I mean, th most of these like vintage ones are collectible. So I think I'm gonna end up seeing what they will take for these. Thrift store? Oh, hey. Oh, you, oh you. All right, I think it's the thrift store calling. We gotta get out of here, let's go. I didn't take anything at the moment. Things were a little priced out. The lady was absolutely, Connie was her name, absolutely lovely. Told her a little bit about what I was doing and she gave me all of these different places to check out here. Um, antique malls and uh, different types of uh, um, places to explore in, in this area. So I'm excited. We're gonna jump back on our path where um, we initially started with, we're gonna resume thrifting and seeing what we can find at these other locations. Woo! Coming back with some nostalgia. Picked up these two Xbox games. They're baseball. They're pretty old ones from 2005 to 2006. 2004, sorry, in 2006. So got these two, bought them for 75 cents. Gonna probably sell them for eight bucks, nine bucks. And then we got Bubba Gump Daytona Beach Tall Shot Glass. This one here was only 49 cents. And I saw one, um, a, a tall shot glass, not this exact location. It was a different location for like, sold for like 13 bucks. So we got this, got this penny board for uh, $3.99. Penny boards bring me back to my, the good old days when I used to skate all the time. It rides like in perfect condition. Uh, I did see one that was sold for like 55 bucks. If I can sell this for maybe 20, 25 bucks again, 
We're, we're, we're flipping it, you know? Boy, if you don't get- This is an, a Jaguar suitcase. Uh, it's in like really, really good condition. Got it for $4. I couldn't find one exactly like this one. And then last but not least, couldn't find anything on these ones. So these ones here are an automatic video, video selectors. I got two of them because they're $10, but they had 50% off. So I bought both of them for $5. I couldn't find any sold at the moment or listed. So I was like, okay, that might be a good sign. With that being said, that was uh, the first location. I was in there for way too long. The brother was like, bro, let's get out of here. I'm like, dude, one more item. And I was like, and then one more item. So um, let's just hit the next location. All right, before we hit the next location, the, the broski here is uh, needing some uh, needing some caffeine. I might need some, oh, well, I already had an energy drink, but I'll take some more caffeine. So we're gonna hit a local coffee shop, again, just to, um, again, spread the awareness to just support local. What, what is the location called? Uh, Beans Coffee Cafe. Yeah, Beans Coffee Cafe. Hey, let's get it. All right, but you got to drink your H2O too because you got to stay healthy. Most of your issues come from being dehydrated. So, um, stress, having a headache, you know, being fatigued, all of the acne, like all, a lot of things just, again, can be simple. H2O. I appreciate you coming to my TED talk uh, about drinking water. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Fight. All right, we're doing reviews. Uh, we're going to do a review of the of the bean here in Fargo. You eat all my beans! What a what a nice touch to this little cup. So they are local, they have two locations. They're established in 2014. Right here, I got a macadamia nut latte. Here's my uh, two cents on this one, I guess. What's the rating, one to 10? One to 10. One yeah. to 10. Wow, that's hot still, wow. Damn, that's smooth. What do you think? I like it. Your almond milk, extra shot. No, yeah, definitely, all I right. like it. Good, good froth, good froth on top. Dude, look at that froth, bruh. If I had to say, dude, <laughs> dude, are you good over there? So my rating, if I had to, uh, if I have to give this one, it would be a, uh, I'll go like 7.4. 7 okay. 7.2. Right. Cheers to that one, bro. Average 7.3. Yeah, there you go. Average 7.3. That's our review, uh, our uh, take on the the bean here in Fargo. All right, so uh, uh, a little plot twist here. We're gonna actually, since I spent way too long on the first location, I am going to speed my way through this thrift store. So I'm only gonna spend 15 minutes at this location. Beat cell starting now. Three, two, one, go. I think it's dope, but yeah. that's cool that you guys are that you guys do that. All right, got um again. This was a speed sell. I was only in there for like five minutes. Uh, first thing that popped out were these like Coca Cola. I didn't even check the price, but these ones are 99 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and see like what what the comps are right now. Coca Cola collectible glasses. Let's see in here. Oh wow, 33,000 results. Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy on us. <laughs> these ones seem to be the same ones right here. 22 bucks, three bucks. If I can sell those probably for 15, I don't know, list them like that. We'll see what we can find. But yeah, so I just do eBay. Yeah. Nice. Have a good day, okay? Yeah. Thank you. All right, there's a lot going on around here, but that's everything I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the detour, the thrift stores, everything about this video. If you did, all I ask is that um, if I brought value in terms of entertainment, if you laughed in this video, all I ask is that you hit that subscribe button and you share this video with someone that will enjoy it just as much as you did. Appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Much love. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace! This is where it's at. Oh, oh it's hey, a kitty, kitty cat. <laughs> Oh, dude, she's protecting it. She's like, this she's like, welcome to my shop. Dude, I need to get sponsored by an energy drink, dude. Like, any any energy drinks? Like, no, dude, you can't be showing that, dude. I need some sponsors for. I'm kidding. Oh, she's not there. even there. This guy, we're gonna give him for nothing. <laughs> we're gonna need to do a speed thrift, so I'm gonna head over there. Uh, let's get it. Woo!